Routing rules are the business logic put in place on the process map which will dictate the path of cases through your workflow. The first routing rule is called sequential. This is the simplest routing rule which connects two tasks in order. Once the first task has finished, the second will begin. To insert it into your process, simply drag and drop the sequential icon into the first task, then simply click on the task that should take place after it. The selection routing rule creates a stop point in your process for the end user to manually select which task should take place next. This is used when there is a fork in your process. The case will only be routed to one of the possible options, however the user will be presented with all of the options at the end of the previous task. To use, drag and drop the selection icon to the task which will feature the options to the user. Then click on one of the optional tasks. Repeat this with other optional tasks. Evaluation is in many respects similar to the selection routing rule in that your case will be routed to one of the several possible tasks. However, the decision making is performed automatically rather than by the end user. To use this routing rule, simply drag the evaluation icon onto the task where the fork should begin. Then click on one of the tasks that form part of the possible workflow. Remember that the case will only route to one of the tasks in real time. In order to configure the conditions to determine the route of the case, click on the evaluation diamond and insert a condition next to each task. The condition that is true when the case is run is the direction that the case will follow. Your variables in the condition box are simply the fields that feature in your Dynaforms. The parallel routing rule allows you to fork your process into several tasks that must take place at the same time. While a case is running in parallel, the task after the join cannot begin until all of the parallel tasks have been completed. In most cases, each of the parallel tasks is assigned to a different user. To set up parallel routing, drag and drop the parallel icon to the fork point, then click a subsequent task. Parallel by Evaluation is a dynamic routing rule which combines the automation of evaluation-based routing with the importance of parallel routing. With this routing rule, you can configure several parallel tasks which will only take place if their evaluation condition is true. This means that different tasks might take place for each case depending on the information submitted in the Dynaforms. To use, drag and drop just like you would with the regular parallel rule. Then click on the diamond to configure the conditions, just like an evaluation routing rule. Whenever any parallel needs to end and join into one single task in your workflow, use the join routing rule. To use this, simply drag the join icon onto one of your parallel tasks, then click on the task that ends the parallel routing. Repeat this action for joining the rest of your parallel tasks. Other uses of process maker routing rules include task looping. Here you can use an evaluation rule to either move to the next task or loop back to a previous task. You can also specify an endpoint in the middle of your process by inserting a new condition row and setting a condition for ending the process. Using an end of process rule will end your process at the end of a predefined task. You can also trigger this to take place at evaluation stages. You can have various ending points in a process and these are configured by dragging and dropping the red circle onto any task. Or you can insert a new condition on any evaluation to include the end of process option. The green circle icon denotes the beginning of a process. This must be attached to a task by dragging and dropping the icon onto one or more of your workflow tasks. It's possible to have more than one starting task in a process, and a user's starting task is defined by the user assignments to the task. In the case that the user is assigned to more than one starting task, 
They will be prompted at the New Case screen to select which test they would like to begin from. ProcessMaker's routing rules allow for easy and straightforward process design. Whether your process is simple or complex, you know that your cases will be routed to the correct user at the correct task at the correct time. These routing rules will minimize the chances of user error and keep your workflow on track. ProcessMaker. Workflow simplified.